Well, when I'm looking at a design and placing the bunker specifically, again, with what they cost to build, with what they cost to maintain, uh, I look for some a bunker that serves at least two or three purposes, not just one. This bunker ought to, you know, provide strategy first and foremost. It ought to be in a place that looks good, maybe in a, from a couple different places. If it can save a golfer from going into some area that's worse, or direct a golfer as a directional bunker, you know, if it has two or three of those functions, it's a high value bunker, and you know, in it goes. You know, I hear people say. Bunker doesn't come into play enough. And then you hear other people say, this one comes into play too much. You know, it's kind of an open opinion as to what is the just the right amount of play that a bunker should get. With bunkers, I mean, in some ways, ideal, again, serving many functions and practical are about the same. You know, like to put a bunker in a, in a facing hill, but if it's steep and there's no way to get the water around it, maybe that's not a practical location. You know, the, the one big change is with the liners, you know, which are you know, once a luxury and now they're a necessity for almost any level course, is that we used to design the sand lobes wide enough to get the, you know, the turning around. And now so many more guys, you can rake them, uh, but a lot of guys are you know, hand raking that. So it's allowed us actually to bring the, the, the lobes of the bunkers and, and then the overall size of the bunkers down. I always ask my superintendents, you know, after I've opened a course for five years, you know, how did I kill you? And you know, what, what just doesn't make sense to you? You really can't tune bunkers depending on the maintenance regimen of the superintendent. My bunkering theory and my drainage theory is pretty well predicated on, you know, we need to get this, these bunkers drained. Yeah, different types of bunkers, they really do affect uh, design and really have the playability. In my mind, you know, you, you want the bunker to be recoverable. I mean, that's one of the beauties of sand bunkers is that you can still hit the green if you make contact with the shot, if they're, you know, the right depth. Basically, to me, the depth of the bunkers is what makes it more strategic, you know, or, or just merely artistic or cosmetic.